Yeah, oh dear, what's going on here? Well, I'll put the wrong tap on. We're going to use these. Now, these are off an answer for you. We fit these on Ferraris and Maseratis and so on. They're all very similar. But for some reason, these holes are a bit small. And I want to enlarge them. So we want to get these nice countersunk bolts in there, like that. We'll work on that one. You see it'll work perfectly there. But it won't go through these. So I've got a bit of tooling. I've just turned up a little bit of tooling there. That'll fit under there like that. And then we can push that down through there. And I reckon that'll do it. So we've just got to enlarge that a bit. I don't want to drill it. I think you know, I want to keep some strength in it. There you go. Straighten that. It'll work, won't it? Yeah, I reckon that'll do the job. Now, probably better if I put a bit of grease on these um, on the end of that, and it wouldn't get stuck in there so much. But I ain't gonna mess around like that. And let's set it about right. Nice, doesn't it? What do you think? Yeah. That sits on there well. So one more to do, we've done that. It's going to work well, isn't it? I'm very pleased with this. Yeah, they're going to look factory, aren't they? Next job is to make this. This is the back. Now that looks simpler than that base in that there's not a two-part bit to the structure. You know, we had to make the platform that the, the actual base sat on. And obviously I had the um, adjustment, you know, the rod across the back where the adjuster went to sort out. But we've got a lot of curvature in this in different ways and shallow. You see, so it curls that way. Curls that way, and as you can see, it's rocking. And the reason is it curls that way. So we've got double curvature, and we've got this this here, and then we've got all of it. You can see it go it curls the other way as well. <coughs> got some sharper corners here, and it joins there. So let's have a look at that. It'll work out how much we need. Uh, 75 inches will do that. Let's just check that again. Well, it's near as damn it, two meters in metric. Now this one's gonna be a sharp bend, isn't it? Let's get a bit more heat in there. I'll use this, not so much for leverage, but just to um, 
try and keep away from the heat on that bit, but we'll see how we get on. A little hollow through there, but I can sort of tap that back, I think. Yeah, I can do a bit more with that in a minute. In the, in the vice, I think. On the anvil of the vice, on the anvil of the vice, I'll do that. Good. Not too bad, is it? Then that be all right. Smoking's prohibited. <laughs> One of them big elegant ones, isn't it? <laughs> the old night that is job. What do you think? Are they gonna do? I think I'll do it. So yeah, you see it, it will weld on there and there. So that should do it. I reckon that'll do. That's that bit. First bit done. Now for the top bit, so we've got to go around. Anyway, it's a bit awkward this one, but we'll work it out. wibbly wobbly up here. I have to see what I can do with that. Through here I've got to try and do a bit of work through here to straighten that out better. But not too bad all in all. Right well that's the one I've used the heat on. And I'm not happy with that. I reckon there's a better way of doing this. So would you like to see the better way of doing it? Because if you do, want to see it, you'll have to come next week and have a look. All right, night-night. No, no.